Would you believe it? Here in this busy street, which many of you will recognise as Cheapside, in the heart of the City of London, stands the smallest shop in the world, 22 inches wide. It is a tobacconist's, and hundreds of city workers buy their cigarettes here without knowing that they are patronising such a distinguished establishment. This quite ordinary looking public house near Farringdon Street Station, London, is really quite unique, for it's the only pub in the world which is also legally a pawnbroker's. Here's the licence granted by a former King of England who had run short of cash and left his watch as security. Here's a queer decoration for a cottage in Sussex. The owner has trained a creeper to form this text. Here's a glimpse of a wedding in Sweden. They don't use carriages. They just march through the streets in this way. And outside the house of the newly married couple, they plant two trees to show that the bride and bridegroom will grow and live in harmony. Now this great arch of Tessifan near Baghdad is one of the architectural wonders of the world. The arch has nothing to support its great span of 83 feet. When it was built 1500 years ago, the mortar was so tenacious that it held each brick in position as it was laid and kept it there until the arch was complete. Here's a trick to keep the children quiet. This man heats a piece of brown paper and then rubs it on his suit, thereby charging it with static electricity. Then the paper will adhere to objects in this way. And now he tries the same thing with postcards and decorates his mantelpiece. A piece of fluff charged by being placed against the card can be driven round the room like this. Would you believe it? <laughs>